your holiday evolution extravaganza. I'm your host, Brian, from Go Geek Go, the Geek Channel. We got some cool evolutions for you today. In fact, they're so cool that it's going to be completing my regional Pokedex. Now, um, I've been working on this for a while. <laughs> I know you guys have too. So if you're already there, that's awesome. I'm really glad to hear that, guys. Let me know in the comments. If you're close, let me know how many you got to go, what Pokemon you need. Let's see what the rarest things are out there, what people need the most. Right now, the things that took me the longest to find, honestly, the hardest thing, I'd say, was Tangula. And I don't know if you guys have the same problem, but I have never once ever seen a Tangula in the wild. Not a shadow or a silhouette, I haven't seen it in the gyms. I only know one or two friends that have Tangulas and they got them from wild catches before like the first update. And then uh, the other people I know that have Tangula have all hatched Tangula. So yeah, Tangula is one of the ones that I found extremely, extremely difficult and I only just got it a, like a week or two before I started shooting my vlogs for you guys. And uh, it was basically, yeah, just a random hatch and I literally freaked out in the middle of a, a parking lot. <laughs> it was crazy. I actually tried to get it recorded so I could pop it into one of my videos because I was so excited about it, but it didn't happen. But anyways, that was the hardest Pokemon for me to get was Tangela. Took forever, never saw it. You know, you think there's a couple other ones I thought that might be hard. Things like Porygon and Licking Tongue, which I didn't really see for a while. Um, I still have never seen a Porygon in the wild, actually, but I've hatched a few of them, and there were some of the ones that I hatched, one of the rare Pokemon that I hatched first out of 5Ks, which was cool. Licking Tongues, I didn't see for a while, but then they started showing up a lot around here, so I've caught a few in the wild. In fact, one right here in my very apartment, so that was pretty cool. But with that, again, you guys, if you have an interesting or frustrating story about a Pokemon you just haven't been able to catch in your area, let us know down in the comments. I'd like to get a little bit more research going and see what Pokemon are hard to find in what areas. And see if there's any type of correlation, like maybe Tangulas are really hard to find in this area. Maybe they literally just don't spawn here, but they do spawn in other places in the states. That's just up for speculation, but again, I can't disprove it because I've never seen one spawn. So let me know guys how things have been for you and let's get on with this Pokemon Evolution chain. Go ahead and we'll start up our recording here. And uh, where's our Pokemon Go Plus? It's around here somewhere. There it is. There it is. Alright. Get this fucking egg going. Lucky eggs going, here we go. So, the first in our evolution chain we're gonna go with here is the, these are, what do you think they're? I think they're harder. Okay, Pikachu is gonna be our first evolution here. Look at all those Pidgey guys. Yeah, those Pidgey Raptors, they get evolved after all this stuff. But, this stuff's way more important. So, I might not actually have these all in order, I'm not sure, but I think. Okay, do. Okay, well. Okay, yes. yes. I just passed the Pikachu somehow. Sorry, it's the Santa hats. They must have thrown me off. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alright, so our first evolution is going to be a Pikachu, and we are going to be evolving our, uh, where did that go? 280 Pikachu. I know this is a little low, guys, but uh, honestly, this is our special holiday evolution that we're going to start with here, and I'm evolving this one because it has high IVs. Um, the highest IVs are the ones I have, I believe. So, yeah. Go ahead, do that, and get our first holiday ride shoot. Pokemon Go Plus people here, hopefully. There he is, guys! Holiday ride shoot! Yay! So that is kicking off our holiday evolution extravaganza. Let's get to it, guys. Thunder Shock and Thunder Punch. That is actually... I don't think that's a good move set. I think Thundershock isn't very good. But Thunder Punch isn't bad. Um, Thunder, Spark and Thunder would have been my preferred, but can't win them all in these, you know. So, you know, we'll move on. We'll go on to our next one, which we got a Mankey to evolve next, guys. So, here we go. Mankey. Four 
Parade Team 1 is the one we're going with on this one. Now, you'll, you will see a lot of times I evolve Pokemon with lower CP because they have higher IVs. Now, some people might not agree with me here on me doing this. They might think, oh, go with the higher CP CPs because they'll do better in gyms. And the truth is I just don't do gyms much. Like, as you see in my videos, I don't do them much. I don't like them much. They frustrate me and they're just too time consuming. They don't have the gain that I really look for. And I'm preparing for trainer battles. So you'll always see me gearing up in ways that are actually more focused on meta battles with other trainers as opposed to fighting people's Pokemon in a gym controlled by a bot. I won't focus on stuff. So, but here, I do have my movesets a little bit set up for that just because it's the only thing to really use. But I feel like these movesets, regardless of the fact, will still be great. Either way, they'll still be, probably still be the best. And I do focus a little more on attacking movesets than defensive, which is another thing that people find me crazy for. But again, that comes down to the point that I'm focusing on developing Pokemon for actual competitive battling later on, as opposed to gym battling right now. So we got low kip, kick and cross chop on our Mankey, which is uh, unfortunate. Cross chop's good. We definitely want a cross chop. Low kick on the other hand is not that great. I'm not sure where it stands in comparison to Scratch, but we definitely, uh, actually maybe we did want low kick. I don't know. Maybe I got that one wrong. Maybe Scratch, low kick, you guys know? Let me know in the comments. I'm not sure. All right, so next is our Growlithe here, and we're gonna go ahead and evolve. Let's do the 401. We already have quite a few Arcanines, so not too worried about it. But, uh, yeah. I know I'm evolving a few things here that aren't actually part of my uh, regional dex completion, but that's okay. We have the time, and I really like to evolve them. So we're gonna go ahead and evolve all those guys for you too. There we go, Arcanine. Let's see what we get. Come on. Daddy needs a new pair of bite and Bulldoze. Fire Fang and Bulldoze. Actually, no, I want a Fire Fang. I, however, did not want Bulldoze whatsoever. Bulldoze is a terrible move for Arcanine. And I don't even understand why Bulldoze is the move that Arcanine has. It's just got him. Oh well. <sighs> There's a wasted Arcanine. Alright, alright. On to the next one, on to the next one. And we already have this evolution a little way down, and it's kind of unfortunate that the CP is so low on this guy, but it's such a high IV percentage, like 96.6%, that I really just, I gotta go with it. It's already got Psycho Cut, Psybeam, which it does, I do want Psycho Cut, but I'd rather have Psychic, so let's see what we get here for my Alakazam. I always really loved Alexander, one of my favorites from the first gen. Nice. Going up that Pokedex. Oh, what? Really? Really? Wow. We just got super, super ripped off on this Alakazam, guys. Confusion and Dazzling Gleam. Uh, I honestly think that is the worst moveset you could get with an Alakazam, and for this being a near-perfect Alakazam, that is one of the most unfortunate things that could happen. Wow, of all the movesets we could have got, we got that one. Uh, Alright guys, so on to our Machop. Now, we need three more Machop candies to actually evolve one of these Machops all the way, and this Machop we have is just terrible. So what we're gonna do here is we wanna actually evolve this 676 one, so we're just gonna get rid of this 532, because we do need three a shot. Oh wait, no, 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 we don't need to do that one. The 864 is really high though, huh? Sorry guys. Yeah, that 864 is really high. I have a feeling it's got bad IVs, yeah, bad IVs, but really, really high CP. I want to keep him around because this guy's CP will go like strong. Okay, I don't mind. I don't mind getting rid of him and this guy here. So we'll go ahead. We'll do that. Once we do the one evolution, we'll get the one more candy we need to take the 676 Machop all the way up to our first Machamp. 
Now, the moveset that we're looking for on our Machamp here is Karate Chop and Cross Chop, or so Double Chopper. Be really, really great for our Machamp. Really make them good for attacking. Um, again, like I said, I focus more on attacking because I feel like these will be the things that are more effective in actual tournament metagame when you're fighting against real opponents in real time. When that will come, we don't know. Hopefully soon. But until then, they actually still do just fine in gyms. And that's the thing, I think, as far as like defenders go, it's so easy to get big buff defenders that are going to stick for a while or as long as somebody's gonna come up there and take it down. If somebody wants to take that gym down though, they're gonna take it down. No matter what you put in there, it doesn't matter. They will take it down. So really, it comes down to what I find will be more useful in the long run for me. And I just, I just think that gearing up towards competitive battles against other players will definitely amount in me having a much higher head start when that does come around than the people who have been focusing on gems this whole time. So now we got Karate Chop and Stone Edge, which uh, is not the moveset I wanted, but I don't think that's actually bad. We did get the Karate Chop, which is great, and Stone Edge I don't think is a bad move, so that should work out pretty well. It won't be as good as it could have been, but that's cool. That's really good. That actually might be a really good defensive loot set. I'm not sure. So there we go. We now have our Machamp, and uh, we're headed on to our next Pokemon, which will be Graveler here. And uh, we actually do have a pretty good Graveler. So uh, we're gonna... Uh, his CP is not good at all, though. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. His CP is not good at all, though, so... Ooh, question, question. What would you guys do? Well, the Geodude all the way? Or the Graveler. I think we're gonna go with the Geodude all the way. Um, 15, 13, 12. What is this guy here? Let's see. Alright, we'll go with the 6671. Right, let's, let's see what we get. Alright, out. Okay. The moves that we're looking for our Graveler on this one, actually, sorry about that, is a uh, Mud Slap and uh, Earthquake, of course. Very, very go-to moves that I believe for Golem. Golem's a really good Pokemon. It seems really, really underused, but Golem is a really good Pokemon in this game, so... I don't know why more people use it. Unfortunately, it doesn't support gameplay. Here we go, on to the final evolution. I'm actually gonna have to grab my uh, Charger here in a second, guys, because we're getting a little low on battery. I don't want to die. There he is, Golem. Nice. Good to finally see Golem. I actually saw Golem in the wild once, and I went and I took all this time to track it down, and finally found it, and uh, I threw one, one Ultra Ball at it, and it ran away. And I was so upset. It had been in my scene list for so long. It was like the only one. So, Rock Throw and Earthquake. Rock Throw and Earthquake. That is not exactly what we wanted, but I don't think that's bad either. Um, Rock Throw was really weak. Um, but at least we got the Earthquake, right? So yeah, there you go, there's that. Half of what we wanted. Always, all right. On to our next one, Magnemite. And we'll just evolve this one here. The top one. Let's see what we get. And as that's evolving, I'm gonna run and grab my charger real quick. All right. Be right back. There it is. Magneton. Dun, dun, dun. Thunder Shock and Discharge. Well, that is not what I wanted. Nope, nope, nope. That is not very good at all, actually. Oh well. It does help me with my Pokedex. Now, Dojo. Aha! Look at this. One CP apart is kind of interesting. Alright, but of course we'll just go with the heart run here and see what we get. So Duo is a Pokemon I don't really care too much about. I did pick about pick out a Moosehead just like I did on all of these that I was ideally looking for. But like I said, a lot of these I really don't care so much. So let's see, Dodrio, there you are. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. What's happening? Got Faint Attack and Aerial Ace. Probably a pretty terrible moveset. If 
probably pretty terrible. So what I was looking for was uh, actually Fate Attack, not too bad. Fate Attack would have done alright. But a uh, Drill Pack was what I really wanted. That's the charge move. Obviously, Aerial Ice is not a very good charge move. But, you know, anything with the, that four bar function as a charge move with such a low amount, it's just. It takes too long to attack, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And on to one of the bigger ones, guys. My muck. I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, definitely evolving our top CP one here. And let's see what we get. We're looking for a poison jab. And uh, oh, what is what is the second move here? I'm sorry. I actually didn't write down the whole name here. I just wrote down uh, GS. Gunk shot, gunk shot, that's it, gunk shot, guys. So we want poison jab and gunk shot. It would be a great move set for our muck. See what we get. Look at him, he looks so cool. Looks so cool. Lick and dark pulse. We are just having the worst luck on movesets today, aren't we? I don't think we've got a single moveset that we wanted yet. Not a single one. Nope. Not a single move set we've wanted so far. Wow, we're doing just terrible. But we are filling up our Pokedex, so hey, we can't argue with that. That is always great to finally complete our regional Pokedex. I am just super pumped about that. And I know I've already kind of considered myself as having it complete because I had all the Pokemon to do it. I just haven't done it for the past week or two because I wanted to save it for this. So this will actually be me officially completing my regional Pokedex, so. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. What do you got next? Uh, Almanite? Well, listen, listen, I think we got a few more things that we could evolve here. Um, I think we wanted to evolve a Rhyhorn. Um, yeah, this 944 Rhyhorn. We also have this 1186 Rhyhorn. Let's, let's compare. I just got this 1186 recently. This one is amazing. This one is I don't know guys, what do you think? This would be quite a DC right one right here. And this would too, I just need to power it up more. Alright, I'm going I'm going with the IVs because that's usually what I go with. Again, I know a lot of you are cringing right now, like, ugh! It was definitely gone with that much higher uh, CP, but I think it'll pay off in the end going with IVs. It will. You know, I could be wrong. That's all right. But for me, I think it's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. It's worth making. Rock Smash and Mega Horn is not a good move set at all. Like at all for Rhydon. Rhydon does not need this move set. Well, there we go. Another useless evolution. But. There's the tangle like us. Yeah, it was nice to get that. We talked about that earlier. <laughs> Super pumped. Alright, um, what else do I got here? I got a bunch of Eevees. Maybe we'll do an Eevee evolution for you guys. Oh, Ammonite and Kabuto. Here we go. The last two from my regionals. I managed to find some good ones too, and they got some nice decent CPs, so. Yeah. Hopefully, we get some movesets here that we like, because it'll be the first of the night. <laughs> Ah, there he is, Omastar, the elusive Omastar. He's pretty cool, I always really like Omastar too. He's uh, definitely my fossil Pokemon of choice in the first generation. Bloodshot and Ancient Power. <laughs> Again, the worst moves that you could get. I am just striking out so utterly terrible, <laughs> terribly on these movesets. It's I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't even know how this is possible. How do you get such bad move sense? Right, I'm gonna go with the lower cooler here because it has a much higher IV than the other one does. So, 91% is definitely worth it. And it's my last chance to get a good move set out of all of these Pokemon evolutions. So hopefully, let's cross our fingers. We've got a couple more evolutions we could do, but I wanted to get all these regionals. These new ones done. Oh, there he is. He looks so cool with the stick along. Yeah. There it is. Our regional Pokedex is finally complete. <laughs> the crowd goes wild! Yeah! Sorry. Sorry, I got a little excited, guys. And Perry Cutter and Ancient Power. 
Well, we struck out on every single one of those Evolutions movesets. Every single one. We didn't get a single good moveset there. Um, you know, maybe you guys disagree with me. If you do, you can let me know in the comments too, because that's what the comment section is good for. Let me know things. Like I said though, we probably have some differences in what we're looking for in these Pokemon movesets and Evolutions. But, all in all, I am just super, super pumped. I am finally finished with my regional Pokedex. Look at that, guys. Um, we still can evolve a Dratini. I'm going to wait, though. I'm not going to do it. I was going to do it because I have this 15, 15, 7 Dragonair, but it's got such a low CP. And I got this 14, 11, 14 Dragonair now, which I think is maybe a little bit better. Or I got this one. I don't know. I got, I got some other ones here. I'd rather just check them out. I think we're going to wait on the Dragonite one. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's show you guys my Pokedex now. Let's, let's go ahead and do that because... That's what you guys are here to see me complete my Pokedex. And there it is, you guys. 143 caught, 143 seen. My regional Pokedex is officially complete. And you guys will see that on the side, so I don't really need to show you there. So you got the three birds. Regional one, regional two, regional three. And that's it, guys. We have officially completed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm not sure when that happened, but our screen recording just went down at some point. And I don't know if that was... <sighs> well, you guys will see when we get to editing this how much of this we actually got recorded as far as the evolutions go. We still have a lot, 11 more minutes, so go ahead and evolve a few more things for you. I know I have at least a uh, shoulder that I wanted to evolve. So let's go ahead and find that shoulder. And, uh, See if we can't get something good out of it. You gotta, gotta get one good boost out, right? And after losing some recording there, who knows how much, we'll find out. You guys will know already, but I have no idea. So, all right, what are we looking for? All right, Blizzard. Blizzard's our main, main goal on this one. I think, uh, yeah. That's what we really care about is getting the Blizzard here. Anything else we want to evolve? Hmm. I guess we'll just hit up the Pidgeys and Radices after this because we definitely need to get those done and out of the way. Ice Shard and Blizzard! Ice Shard and Blizzard! Well, one out of two ain't bad. One out of two ain't bad. Now, Ice Shard I really didn't really want, but that's okay. I really just wanted to get that Blizzard, so that's cool. Got a semi good moveset on that one, and uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna evolve the rest of these Pidgeys and wrap us with this other 10 minutes of our time. So, you guys, thanks for joining me. Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm done with those evolutions. I'm still just evolving some Pidgeys and some Raditzes here, but uh, I'm gonna see these over here. They're just a stack of little presents that I haven't opened yet, and they're not really the biggest presents. They're actually my stocking, and uh, my mom just wrapped them and gave them to me that way this year instead because she didn't want me to get my stocking. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open them. And if you guys are interested, you could watch me open them and see what they are. I'll give you a hint. There's lots of things that cause cavities. When I say lots, I mean pretty much everything's gonna be candy. Let's see what we get here, guys. Come on. I need some new Reese's. Oh, and it is Reese's. What do you know? Yeah. Got some Reese's right here. Good stuff. Uh, ooh, I don't even know what these are. Just peppermint. Yeah, you know, peppermint bark. I love peppermint bark. Peppermint's one of my favorite candies, guys. Love it, love it, love it. Holiday seasons are great for that stuff. Peppermint cocoa, peppermint bark, peppermint fudge. I actually make some amazing peppermint fudge. If you guys are ever in my area, you might get to try that. Probably not. Alright, our, our lucky egg has officially run down, so that's cool. We don't have to worry about those anymore. We're just open a picture. Yay! Oh, I can see what this one is already. I like special here. I also really love these, and uh, a lot of you probably disagree with me here. Oh, these are different. These are new. Huh. Speaking of peppermint, we got some candy cane peeps dipped in chocolate. These are probably going to be really, really good. Like I said, a lot of you guys probably don't like peeps. I know there's this love-hate relationship with peeps. You either love them or you hate them. I love them. And these, I love peppermint even more. 
So these are probably gonna be amazing. Um, I usually do like to let peeps go a little bit stale. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. If you haven't tried it, try it. I'm dead serious. Just cut the package open, let it sit out for a day or two till you get a nice firmness to it. You don't want it to be all soft and squishy. You want that nice firmness to it. Then try them and then tell me I'm crazy then. Tell me I'm crazy then. You won't because you'll know how crazy good they are. All right, on to the next, on to the next package, guys. And uh, feels like it's probably something else with peppermint because it feels like uh, Godarly, uh, Godarly or something like that, something special. So, oh, oh, well, Lindor, Lindor. Okay, see, same thing. And it is peppermint, peppermint white chocolate truffles. Oh man, that sounds amazing. Oh, if there's one thing else I love in candy, it's white chocolate. Oh, yes, peppermint white chocolate truffles. This is probably my favorite thing so far. I don't even know. We're gonna keep going. We all know what this one is. Do we really need to open it? Yes, it's a peppermint stick. All right. Lifesaver box. Sorry I just ruined that box opening, but lifesaver box. We always get them. We've gotten these lifesaver storybooks our entire childhood every year. And you really downgraded these every single year up until, I don't know, probably 10 years ago when you've just made them one package of a couple of candies. They used to come with two packs of candies, which I believe was only two more rolls. Actually, I think it was two packs of four instead of one pack of six. But then it also would always come with like an ornament or some little special gift with it that was really cool. And they haven't come with those in a long, long time. I don't even remember how long. But these are still like a holiday tradition in our stocking, so I can always look forward to these. And of course, I knew exactly what it was when it came to the. But yeah. All right, all right. We got two more things here. Two more things. I'm not sure what these are. Ooh, ooh, nice, nice. Two of my other favorite candy. See, my mom knows me so well that she knows just how to rot my teeth. We got Laffy Taffy Sour Apple and Strawberry. That's cool. I really, really love Laffy Taffy. Those are good. And Nerds, Watermelon Cherry Punch. Yes, watermelon is a great flavor for candy, guys. There we go. Yeah, the Nerds. And here we go. The last package here. This is a big one. It's like Chocolate Santa or something. I don't even know. I'm not sure on this one. Let's see what we get. What is it, guys? What is it? Oh, okay, Christmas tree red velvet cakes. I also really love red velvet cake, so these are also really awesome. And who doesn't love Little Debbie's, guys? Who doesn't love Little Debbie's? So yeah, all of this candy, all this junk food, courtesy of my mother for Christmas, my stocking stuffers, even though they didn't stuff a stocking this year, that's all right, because hey, I'm really, really excited about all of it, but especially, especially, these peppermint white chocolate truffles, guys. These are probably my favorite thing that I opened up this year. Um, and I say that like I got cool stuff. I didn't, I don't really get Christmas gifts too much because it's just a redundant thing, you know? But uh, we do do the little stuff like this. And we hang out and have dinner and spend time with family. That's what we enjoy with Christmas. And yeah, this is really just, it's gonna be amazing. I already can tell I'm super, super excited to eat them. I'm not gonna eat them on camera because, well, you know, eating on camera is kind of weird. Maybe like in a time lapse it's fine or what have you or when you're with other people, but I'm not gonna say here. You guys watch me eat a white chocolate peppermint truffle because I'm sure you wanna try one too and that just wouldn't be fair. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little Christmas unboxing opening for you. A little bonus there and uh yeah have a great night have a great holidays you guys we still have the new year's coming so ring in that new year's with all your loved ones and your family and your friends and have a great time and just stay safe throughout the rest of your holidays you guys have a great one go catch more pokemon